Fossil fuels are considered non-renewable resources because once they're gone, they're gone because it takes millions of years for them to form. Our three fossil fuels are coal, petroleum, or oil, and natural gas. Finding fossil fuels in an area can tell you a lot about what an area used to be like millions of years ago. For instance, finding oil in an area can tell you that area used to be covered by an ocean or a sea. For instance, West Texas. It's now a desert, but it, you can find petroleum there because it was once covered by the Gulf of Mexico. The fossil fuels come from the energy that was preserved or trapped between layers of the earth um, from these from microscopic organisms that lived in the sea or secreters as I like to call them. Finding coal in an area tells you that that area used to be covered by swampland so, because coal comes from swamp plants. So finding petroleum oil in an area that tells you that that, care, that area used to be covered by a sea or an ocean. Finding coal in an area tells you that area used to be a swamp. So, oil comes from sea critters, coal comes from swamp plants. Natural gas can be found around petroleum or coal. For some reason or another, the state of Texas wants, to te wants us to teach that natural gas is usually associated with the oil and that's fine it is but it is also found with coal as well if you like to fish and you go out into Galveston Bay a lot of times you will see a lot of the natural gas platforms out in Galveston Bay along with the the oil platforms that are out there now uses of coal we use coal primarily to generate electricity. We use it to create steam that turns the turbine and uh, powers the generator to generate electricity. We also use activated carbon in air and water filters. Like if you have a water filter hooked up to your faucet, it probably has activated carbon in it. Also, Almost 70% of the steel produced today uses coal. One problem with using coal and other fossil fuels is it pollutes our air. So it's really not all that great for the earth and if you have problems with, for instance, asthma or other respiratory breathing, respiratory is breathing, problems, then um, polluting the air with fossil fuels is going to be particularly tough on you. Petroleum or oil is mainly used to make gasoline or jet fuel or heating oil. Heating oil is used up north to heat their homes. It's also used to make plastic. So anything that you use with plastic is going to be made from oil like CDs, computer cases, video games and more. It's also used in makeup, detergent, surfboards, paints and several other items. The problem with using oil is it pollutes the air just like the coal does whenever it's burned. So it's not really all that good for the environment or good for people with breathing problems. Natural gas is used for heating your homes. It can be used for a stove or an oven for cooking, uh, for hot water heaters. Um, for hot showers. It's also used nowadays in some vehicles. They're powered by natural gas, especially a lot of the public transportation systems. I believe some of the buses that our school district has are also powered by natural gas now. Natural gas is usually found with petroleum, but it can also be found in other places as well. It also pollutes our air, but it's not near as bad as oil and coal. Now it's time to check in with Bear, my puppy, and see what she's up to. Bear, where are you? There you are. Looks like Bear's found some evidence of erosion. 
I think she's probably made a little bit of that erosion herself with her claws. And she sounds quite proud of herself. Look at that erosion. Way to go, bear.